Good morning, people. How are we doing? It is Vlogmas Day 15. Mental. We're already nearly at the end. Um, we are in not so sunny Salford. I'm off to get some breakfast as I've got about an hour and a half before I need to get a cab to the airport to head back down to London as we're going to see Darren Brown's first night which is going to be so exciting and special. I saw him when I was slightly younger and he guessed the name of my hamster when I met him after which is just crazy. I still don't know how he did it. Um, I still don't know. Oh, Canada geese. A bit scary. Don't look them in the eye. They are. Beautiful. They're not beautiful, they're scary. Yeah, he guessed the name of my hamster when I was younger, which was super cool. And I, I, I genuinely, no one told him the name of my hamster, which was Biscuit at the time. Um, rest in peace, Biscuit. Good hamster. But I think we're gonna go uh, Cafe Rouge for breakfast. Yeah. We are. And also, check this out. That is Man United Stadium. Over there, that's Old Trafford. I didn't quite realise how close it was. I've only driven like the road on from it, but it's a pretty stunning building. I don't like the football team, but I can appreciate the architecture. My Uber is on its way. I have to say goodbye to this beautiful theatre. Oh, I never like leaving mum. I knew that touring would be hard, but <clears throat> I'm not going to not be going. I'm not. To <laughs> I'm not, not going to be going. Um, I'm going to a load of uh, different venues. Um, I'm going to go over to Ireland. I'm going to go to Scotland. <laughs> so, if anyone watching my vlogs lives in a cunt or a, a country. Oh, I'm so tired. Uh, if you live in a place where the, where the show is coming, um, let me know. I am happy to come and see it again. Just let me know when and where and I'll be there. If I can, if I can. Oh, oh my God, I'm so tired and I've got to get on a plane. I don't want to get on a plane. I mean, I haven't been on a plane for so long. I am quite excited, but I'm like, it's already delayed and I'm already got a time restraint. So I'm a little bit concerned, just a little bit concerned. <laughs> Security is all done. He was a little bit fierce on security. Kind of scary, but we're all through. And I am just waiting for my flight, which goes in like two and a half hours. I came here really early because I didn't need to put my bag through the like, check-in desk. I just walked straight through. Security was so busy, so I'm glad I've got my bag. This airport, I don't think could be busier if it tried. So I'm just trying to find a seat where I can edit because I'm not actually going to have enough time on the aeroplane to edit because I'm literally there for an hour, if that. Um, I think it's like an hour door to door. As soon as I get on, I'm off within the hour. So, oh, who doesn't love an hour's flight back to London? So annoying, like, I was supposed to go to a football on Saturday, my mate Drew, but he's just cancelled because he can't get into London because of the train strikes. It's just annoying. Really, really annoying. Um, but I'm gonna get a coffee, sit down and chill and edit. Because I want to try and edit before I get on the plane. Because let's be honest, if I edit on the plane, I'm not even gonna have enough time to edit on the plane. Let's be, it's just, just a fun fact of the day. is delayed it's a bit annoying but hopefully I'm still on time to make it to Darren Brown I, mean, I am cutting it fine I realized I was going to Heathrow I've then got to get a train from Heathrow to another terminal in Heathrow to then get the tube into town luckily I can get it into the t into like the closest tube station to the theater so that's okay it says it's going to take me about an hour from Heathrow, so we shall see. It's um, it's literally updating every five minutes. Sometimes it says like it's going to take like an hour. Sometimes it says 
that the delay is going to be like 20 minutes, sometimes it says it's going to be like an hour and a half. I'm not sure. As I've just said to mum, I'd have rather gone up to see mum in her show for the first preview, had a really lovely evening and missed it today then do it the other way around and miss it last night and then go to the uh, to Darren Brown tonight. It will be a sad thing to miss, but it's only the gala night. I think it's there until like the start of Feb or something, so I've got loads of time if I miss it tonight to go. I hate it. I hate it when plans change because of disruptions and because of the train strike. It's just kind of put everything on hold like Saturday with Drew cancelled kind of but there's a few things that I had on this week that I just don't think will happen because of the trains so annoying so annoying <laughs> We got in about 20 minutes early, sat on the runway for a bit, nothing moved. Yeah. So I've got, what's the time now? Yeah. It's probably like quarter past five. Yeah, quarter past five. So I've got and that two yeah. hours 15 to get back. Yeah. So I just pray that the tubes are in my favor here. Because if not, we might have an issue. This has unintentionally turned into a challenge video to try and get back in time. But there's the airport sign and there's the underground sign. Right, we're on our way. I just hope that the Piccadilly line lines up to as soon as I get on that platform because I think I might be cutting it fine still because there is snow on the ground here still. So hopefully we make it. Oh, because I'm actually really... Now that I'm back in London, I'm really excited to see Darren Brown. I've got my hopes up, so fingers crossed. What, it just told me to go out here and then it's just... What? Okay, there's some, somehow I'm gonna find the underground. By miracles of miracles, I've arrived. Not just arrived in London, I've arrived an hour and a half early, which means I'm actually gonna go to my members bar, and get a drink, because that was a stressful journey. And I really thought I wasn't gonna make it this, this afternoon. So maybe I'll just cancel my tickets. And then I was like, hey, let's try it. Let's, I was like, I'll warn Joe that I'm not going to, uh, that I'm going to be late, or later. He was like, no, you'll 100% make it. I was like, I'm not sure if I will, Joe. He was like, you're gonna make, oh. he was like, you're gonna make it, I promise. Got on the uh, flight, literally left quarter past, I think we got in the air. And then we were like up in the air for 25 minutes and then came down and landed just sat on the runway for a bit. So that got me panicking a bit as well. I'm in London, I've got like an hour and a half. Um, oh, that was stressful. I don't want to do that again. Especially not on a day where the trains aren't running because the amount of people who at Heathrow were like, get on the Heathrow Express, go, 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 you got a minute. So I jumped on the Heathrow Express, paid a lot of money for that. Thanks for that. Um, Heathrow Express, but I am in London, so I cannot complain. I managed to get here. Whew. Challenge completed. I can now relax and just enjoy the rest of the evening. Uh, I just saw my mate Tommy at the Ivy, which was so lovely. I haven't seen him in like two weeks now, but there is still, still snow on cars. I'm not quite sure how, it must have iced over. 
but I am now going to head down Shaftesbury Avenue to go and see Darren Brown's show. I, I've seen his show, not this particular one, but I've seen it before, as I mentioned earlier, and it, he is just ridiculous. Like, I want to know all of his secrets. I love magic, so this is like 101 top magic. So, so excited. Like whenever there's a magic show in London, I'll go because it like blows me away. My camera needs to stop unfocusing my face. Um, <laughs> this is the money maker. No, that is horrendous. Never say that again, Sam. I am all back home. I am back in my old bedroom, which it's really nice because I'm here for the week with Lizzie, which is awesome. And it feels nice. It feels nice to come home, you know? Um, I've just seen that it says four minutes left on my memory card, so I've got to be quite quick about this one. I don't want to release too much about the show. I'm not going to give any spoilers. At one point, I did think that Joe had been hypnotised, and I did get quite panicky. Um, but there were parts of that show that genuinely I just missed. I was like... I blinked and I was like, oh my god, it's... But what? That was... Okay. And then, like, the show would just carry on and, like, no one would really talk about it again. It's so good. So good. And it's on until March? March or April? Uh, I will be going back because I'm fascinated by it. And I would love to know how some stuff worked. But I came out of that show. And Joe, and Joe and I were like, oh my god! Did you see this bit? Oh my god, did you miss that bit? We are obsessed with Darren Brown. Darren Brown is a god. Um, but yeah, came home, we had some food. And uh, yeah, today has been quite stressful with the travelling and things being delayed and things being late. Um, not fun at all. We're here with Lizzie, by the way. Um, but yeah, it wasn't fun at all today and just traveling and going by aeroplane in general it's a little bit nerve-wracking for me because the past like few times that i've been on an aeroplane we've had either such bad turbulence or as lanzarote said uh n not even landing in lanzarote and when we got up in the air today there was really bad turbulence and they asked everyone to sit down and put their um seat belts on then we went through some turbulence and then came down into landing but it, yeah did get a little bit hairy um, up in the air, I have to say. And I'm not normally someone that is terrified of flying, uh, of flying, but the past few times I have been quite nervous and I just have to listen to loud music and kind of zone out. So it actually was a nice time to kind of sit. I did like not much editing because we were barely in the air, um, but I'm gonna end it here as Tomorrow's another day of adventures. I've realised I've done nothing Christmassy today. Anyway, um, I'm going to end it here. Thank you for coming on these adventures, and I'll see you later.